Hello everybody, welcome to PowerPoint Academy channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to design a real clock using Microsoft PowerPoint only. You can use this animated clock in all of your presentations during speaking or as a countdown timer to show you the time of your presentation. But before starting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be able to watch our upcoming videos. Let's go! Okay, so firstly, I will bring a blank layout. Right click and choose blank layout. Then I will change the color of the background. Uh, I prefer to use this one. Okay, I will make the first circle, which will be the background of our watch. And I will make its border like this and its fall like this. Then I will make the background gradient color like this and increase the weight of the border. Okay. And now to put the uh, letter numbers of the clock in a good way, if you calculate 360 over 12 the result will be 30 so you need a number in every 30 degree in the circle you can do this by move this circle to the center then draw another circle Make it in black color with no outline and bring it to the center of the center of the circle like this. Then I will draw segment like this line segment and I will make another one with a rotate of 90 degree and put it to the center of this one. Okay be more accurate and this one align center and align middle okay let's make mini covers of this line put them here okay for the first one I will make a rotation for it by 30 degree and put it here in the center this one will be 60 i will adjust them at the at the end this one will be 90 then i will add 30 to the 90 120 okay then 150 And then 180 and no need for another lines so if I choose all of them format align center align model now you can add the number and each line of these lines so let's write them First one will be 12, just the font color and size. Okay, let's choose this type. Very good. Okay, we need to make mini covers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8 9 10 11 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12 lines like this
Ok, after adjusting the position of each number, I will delete all of these lines, like this, press delete, and you will have the shape of the clock. Ok, and now let's draw the arrows of the clock. This one will be for hours. Make it more short. Okay. And this one will be for minutes make it taller than the one for hours while the last one will be for seconds Ok, give them unique colors but in same gradient after removing the outline. Ok, I will choose. Ok, I will bring the color from my file of colors to choose some colors in same gradient. Ok, I prefer to choose this one. Ok, this one, Control C and control V ok let's give this one the darker color ok ok make them in a gradient manner like this gradient and choose a one according to the position of the shadow you want gradient and this one ok regarding this circle I will choose this color and make it gradient with a center shadow like this ok Ok, I will make a step to make our animation more easy. Just rename the name of each object in PowerPoint. This one, for example, is known as ISO Skills Triangle 27. I am sure that I want to remember this uh, name in the animation, so I will rename it Seconds. And this one, Minutes. And this one will be for hours. Okay. Move it to the center like this. And this one. And bring this circle to front like this. Very good. Okay, and now I want to uh, show you something very important. Now I want this uh, arrows to spin in the circle, so if I go to animation and choose add animation and then spin, it will spin in this number and of course I don't want that. So I will make a trick, I will draw a circle like this. Make it with no fill and then draw any line in it but the trick here is to group these circles together then if you go to animation and click spin this one will spin in this manner and of course I want this so I will draw a circle here
put it in the center and it's very important to center it and then remove full good selection bin and we need three circles for the three hours so control D control D okay this one I will make it the circle which I will group with the second hour so I will call it I will call it S1 and for this one I will call it M1 for minutes and this one will be H1 for hours and then I will select all of circles and center make it on my metal okay so now I will choose the second with S1 and press Ctrl G to group them and I will call the group second M1 with minutes and press Ctrl G then name the group minutes H1 to group it with hours and Ctrl G name it hours ok and now to hide these borders just select all the groups and go to check outline and choose no outline it will disappear ok again make this one bring to front ok I'm keeping to close the selection method but I need it so let's go to animation open animation pane and let's start with the second R ok for second for seconds let's click spin and you will see that spin in this manner ok make it after previous to start automatically and now you need the R to uh, spin all the square in 6 seconds so the duration make it 60 very good guarding the minutes group add the same animation make it with previous and you will face a problem here the powerpoint put a maximum rule for duration which is 10 seconds uh, 10 minutes I'm sorry 10 minutes 10 minutes equal to 600 seconds so you can uh, make a duration more than 600 seconds or 10 if you want to like it uh, to write 80 minutes just write 10 and the sign 0 0 4 hours but I want to make this at 60 degree ok 4 hours we will face the same problem but I will make it a 6 degree same for timing I will write 10 minutes and choose with previous so this clock is for 10 minutes only but of course if we need to make a clock for more than this if your presentation is more than this time uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes or so on we can make another slide and just change the position of the arrows so you can rotate this one by for example let's open the selection pen again an example for the hours group go to rotate more rotation option and make it 60 degree and so on for the minutes make it at 60 degree and the clock will continue after 10 minutes end but let's return it to the first one for such an example now I want to move the increase rotation of the hour just for to show it more rotation option and click it ok so one for hour regarding the minutes I wanted to appear or to start 
and just right 40 okay and now let's review our clock as you see the second arrow will complete the circle in a 60 minutes 60 seconds for sure I'm sorry and now we reach the end of our video I hope you like this tutorial please if you like it press like and subscribe to our channel to be able to see our upcoming videos thank you